It is, what is today? Tuesday, and it's 9 a.m. Pacific time, noon Eastern time here in Sarasota, Florida. As you can see, it's a gorgeous freaking day. I jogged this morning, and it was uh, it was uh, really foggy, uh, so much humidity in the air, but uh, it's not too brutal out here. We'll see how long I can last in the heat, but uh, I like this backdrop a whole lot better than my office, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd do this Ask Me Anything uh, right here. Hey, Uriel, what's up, brother? Appreciate you watching. Uh, looks like uh, we got Ambrose, we got Fatima on Instagram. Uh, we've got my beautiful bride watching on Facebook. Kelly, welcome, guys. So, guys, this is an Ask Me Anything. And you guys, hey, Wassam, uh, Alan, what's up, brother? Um, Jaime, uh, or Jaime, I don't know if I pronounced that right. Welcome. Uh, Candy, welcome. Nina, welcome. Jeremiah, what's up, brother? Welcome. So, guys, Josh, what's up, my friend? Uh, guys, this is an ask me anything. So uh, uh, really, it's it, the, 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 the ball is in your court. If there's something you'd like me to talk about, uh, please, please help me out here. Uh, we can talk about anything in the multifamily space, of course. Hey, Nina, what's up? Uh, Renee, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm so blessed. That's my backyard, Renee. I mean, I'm just so freaking blessed. Uh, it's like a park back here. Tiffy found this place, and uh, uh, I'm great, Fatima. I'm wonderful. Um, Anyway, so if you guys got a question, anything around the, the multifamily space, of course, finding deals, um, evaluating deals, doing the due diligence on deals, getting the financing on deals, syndicating deals, uh, property management, anything multifamily. Uh, let's see. Is there a web website to see if there has if a sponsor has ever been investigated or looked at by the SEC? I would guess the SEC's website, Josh, uh, when you're checking out a sponsor um, and you know, there are, we, we, I know you're in our you're in our program, and we have a, a list of sponsorship or sponsor questions you should ask in in the course materials, brother, that you should check out. What's the best place, place to get training on multifamily real estate investing, brother? You're looking at it, okay? <laughs> Listen to my podcast, A Lifetime Cash Flow. We're about to, you know, we're pushing on seven million downloads, so check it out, Lifetime Cash Flow. Um, Okay, what's the best way to do weekly planning to stay focused and motivated? Okay, that's kind of a long, I actually did a Facebook Live, URL just on that topic. I don't want, to, that'll take too long for me to do right now, but if you search planning on my official page, you'll find that I did one just on that topic, and, and I train that at my events, I, I to, tell my coaching students how to do that, because you know, fail to plan, plan to fail, and so uh, I, I give you a really great framework for doing a weekly planning process, but I want to take the time to do it right now my friend so if you'll find that if you can't find it put it in the notes and I'll, I'll try to get you the link Alan what's up my friend good to see you looking forward to some questions Jeremiah say someone gets started by helping with a syndication what's the normal per door cash flow per investor oh brother that is all over the board it depends on the deal you know if it's a value add deal it could be higher if it's a yield play meaning they're just banking on the rents to go up you know uh, it, it's going to be mitigated by that so every deal is different it, it's based on your percentage in the deal it's based on what you bring to the deal you know um, there's there's a there's a fairly intricate way to divide up uh, a general partnership split in a syndication. You know, there's people that bring in the at-risk capital. They put up the earnest money, the uh, due diligence costs. They do the third-party reports. And then there's people that that bring the equity and and play a role in the asset management, possibly the due diligence. There's people that uh, that um, uh, brought the deal. There's people that bring their their net worth and their liquidity, their resume to the deal. So there's just lots of ways. Uh, to, uh, to to carve that up. There's no way to do a stock answer to your question, my friend. Um, okay, let's see. Any material homework you recommend, to, um, Wassam is asking, any material homework you recommend to better prepare for the LA boot camp? You know, that's a great question. Um, my LA boot camp, uh, if tickets are already selling like crazy, it's January 17th through the 19th. Um, you know, prepare definitely. I, I don't know that there's really homework. I try to get through as many of my podcast episodes as you can. That'll really be helpful. Um, you know, and, and just just immerse yourself in this. Stay in grace. If you're not in the big multifamily group, make sure you're in there watching the feed. Some great questions come through there. Um, and uh, and I would recommend doing that. But make sure for sure that you have a lot of business cards with phone numbers. And because, you know, networking is, is a critical piece of this business. It's, you know, it's it's not really not so much what you know. It, well, it is what you know as well, but it's, it's absolutely who you know. Okay. You've got to build relationships 
Um, this business is a team sport, and you're going to find that out when you get in. It's not like single family where you can do it yourself. When you when you get into multifamily, um, uh, it's it's absolutely a team sport. It's the people you put together. Uh, you know, a lot of times it's an analytical person with an outgoing person, or it's 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 people that some people will bring their resume, some people will bring experience, some people will bring boots on the ground, some people will bring their energy to a deal. Um, so, so there's just so many um, ways to car, you know, to, to get involved in a team here. Um, what's the first step for newbies looking to buy that first multifamily? Education, education, Cam. Because if you dabble, you're going to get your butt kicked. Dabblers get crushed. So you have to educate yourself. There's a ton of free content out there. My podcast is free. You know, uh, there are some other great podcasts out there. Um, you know, and I mean, if you like total immersion, come see me at one of my events. Uh, it's just me for three days. But 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 regardless, YouTube has a lot of good stuff. So so just get out there and immerse yourself in this. Go to your local RIA meetings. You know, talk shop. Learn the nomenclature. You know, the 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 verbiage. The you know the 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 acronyms and things like that for the different pieces of this business like NOI and and IRR and COC and and some of these acronyms that you need to learn to be in the business cash on cash internal rate of return and net operating income were those examples I just gave you but but it's education my friend and and that's really how you get started Eddie what lenders do you recommend to refinance properties well listen uh, there's that that's a really big question. You know, are we talking about large deals? Are we talking about, you know, small multifamily? Of course, small multifamily, residential multifamily is two to four doors, and that's residential financing. If you're five plus doors, it's commercial. So, that, you know, it, it's very, it's also very geographically um, uh, based. Uh, lending is very geographic in many cases as well. So impossible to answer, brother. I would put that out on the multifamily group. If you're not a member of that big group, get in there. It's multifamilycommunity.com and it'll take you right to that big Facebook group. We should have 30,000 people actually by this weekend. So it's a huge uh, uh, place. You can't promote there, but you can absolutely um, ask questions there. So put put that question there, but be more geographic with it. Um, are your boot camps beginner friendly? You better believe it. And, 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 and really for any step of where you are, because I, I go through soup to nuts step by step with a 90 day action plan, what to do to crush it in this business. Lots of my students have, have bought deals already, but, but I also have a lot of advanced stuff too. So it's drinking through a fire hose. So just know that, you know, the other thing is I go through, um, a lot of motivational, well, not motivational, really. It's motivational is the wrong word. Mindset and psychology. Because so many people will go to one of these events and they don't do a damn thing with it. You know, that's the stats. About 90% of the people that go to an event don't do a thing with it. Well, not on my watch, okay? So, you know, you get a lot of mindset stuff. So you actually push through fear and, and push past limiting beliefs and actually take action on what you learn. What a concept, huh? So, so, but they're absolutely beginner friendly. They're also lots of stuff for advanced. I had, I had pushing three billion, I think, in, in at my Baltimore event on stage on panels. Okay, three billion represented by the people on stage. So some real hitters. We have any you can ask any question you want. Pretty much every question gets answered. So uh, there's something for everybody. Am I going after pro uh, Darian asks, Are you going after properties through auction? Is that a good idea? Let me talk to you about an auction. Okay, auctions are a great place to learn. Okay. Um, but but I would not recommend it for a newbie. Here's why. So if you if you're if you're looking at a property on LoopNet and a broker sends you a package, you get it under contract. You're going to have what's called a due diligence period. Okay, meaning you know it's it's usually it's 30 days in this hot market. Oops, I keep kicking the stand. In this hot market, it's um it's reduced sometimes, but uh, it's sometimes there's even no due diligence. But normally you have some sort of a due diligence period. Um, to check out the property, to you know, to scope the line, the sewer lines, to to make sure everything's on the up and up, to make sure that there are no building inspection issues and things of that nature, to do your financial analysis of the rent roll and the leases and the contracts and all that stuff. Well, with an auction property. If you bid on a property at auction and you're successful, it's your deal. I mean, if you back out, you lose a lot of money because you've put up a deposit to have the ability to to bid on an auction property. So, and then and then you have to do all your due diligence ahead of the auction date. And you're doing the due diligence on, on a property you're not even sure you're going to get. And so what what's scary about that is sometimes sellers that have a property that's got a defect will hide that defect by putting a property up for auction hoping it does and get seen. So again, if you're going to do an auction property, make sure you have me or somebody like me looking over your shoulder if you're new, okay? But there are great deals there. But I will say this about auctions, it's a great place to learn 
because if you're learning this business and you get a package from a regular broker on LoopNet, you're going to find that it's just got a, a thing they, they make up on CoStar that's got rent comps and sales comps and stuff like that. It's real pretty format. But you don't get all the stuff you get when you get a package from an auction property. Because of that short due diligence fuse, they throw everything but the kitchen sink in those packages. So I recommend you register on all the auction websites if you're learning this business because you'll get things like appraisals and third party, other third party reports and things that will help you learn this business. Um, in their packages. So it's a great place to freaking learn and do analysis on properties. But just be careful if you're going to actually pull the trigger. Now, um, second, last little tip, use a separate email when you register on the auction websites because they will drive you crazy with their emails. All right, let's see. On Instagram, I got a question from Daniel. What is one, if not the top thing you take into consideration when choosing whether or not to take someone on for coaching? Well, <laughs> Good question, actually. I mean, I, I, the big question we ask is, are you actually going to take action? Okay, and, that, and that's, that's the bottom line because, you know, uh, so many people don't. And so, you know, we want to know you're actually going to do the work. And, and, and guys, if you're, going to, if you're going to do anything, get ahead in anything, you actually have to, yeah, you got to get up early. You got to stay up late. You got to push yourself. You got to grind for a few years now, you know, like most people won't. So you can live the life of your dreams like most people can't. So hopefully that answers your question, uh, Daniel. Okay, Mandy, love the compound. Thank you. That's yeah, I love it too. It's so blessed. Um, okay, uh, auction Nina, how do you pull your hot zip code if you're new to the area? I have no idea what that means, sweetheart. I don't I don't understand that question. H hot zip codes. Forgive me. If you give me expand on that, I'll answer it. Okay, Dustin, hope all is well. Thank you. Know you've been busy last few weeks. My question. Hold on. Got to open it up. What are your thoughts on someone speculating as a real estate? Is there a downturn coming? Yeah, guys, listen, if, if, if people are telling you there's no correction coming, run because they're full of crap, okay? There's absolutely a correction coming. How big it's going to be, God forbid that it's like 2008. I, I don't think it will be. But but real estate goes through cycles. I mean, it, it happens. It happens consistently. I'll give you a great example. You know, I bought a house in Denver back in the 80s. I, I bought it for like in the 50s. I sold it in the 70s. It was actually a flip. I did a little flipping back then. I sold it in the 70s. The market crashed. I bought the same house back for $18,000. 3351 West 30th Avenue in Denver, Colorado. Bought it back for $18,000. A few years later, I sold it in the 150, 160 range. Now it's in the six, seven hundred, eight hundred thousand range. That's what happens. P properties go through cycles. It's going to happen again. Now, is that something to be afraid of? No. But right now, there is. We are in a phase called irrational exuberance. Okay, there are deals being done that I mean, are, to me, I'm scratching my freaking head that they're happening. So just be careful. You got to have both eyes wide open. Are there deals there? Yes. We're about to go under contract on about a thousand doors. So yes, there are deals. But we're kissing a lot of frogs to find them. And we're stress testing a deal. Stress testing means, you know, we won't buy a deal unless it's, if we can, if it'll break even at 25% vacant day one and 35% vacant in five years. Otherwise we won't do it. That's, that's one of our stress tests. Plus we put a lot of money in operating reserves. So is it going to happen? Yes, but, but it's not something to be afraid of. And I will tell you, the, the fact that you guys are watching me right now and you want to learn this business is fantastic because this is the perfect freaking time to learn this business. Because let me tell you something, when the market corrects, that's when the big money is made, okay? That's when the people pounce. Me, I got my ass handed to me in 2008, so I was hiding underneath a rock for a while. But, you know, if that hadn't happened, I would have maximized my portfolio because if you listen to my podcast, you'll find that most of the guys that have thousands of doors, they started in 09, 10, 11. That's what we call a clue, my friends. All right, let's keep going here. Um, Jew Whitaker, you've mentioned that any business is just people and systems. Yeah, and that any business is nothing but people and systems in any business, okay? You find the best people you find, and then you systemize. In fact, I just had a meeting with my team this morning about my live event. How can we make it better? We, we recapped Baltimore so we can do a better job in L.A., and we're going to checklist some of the things that weren't checklisted. That's an example of a system. We're going to look at key performance indicators, like how many people show up that, 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 how many people buy the tickets that actually show up? That's a KPI. How many people that expressed interest in, in my material actually buy a ticket to come to an event? That's a KPI, key performance indicator. Those are systems. That's an example of systems. And that's truly any business, people and systems. Let's see, Marty, I used your sample deal package and it worked. Awesome. Awesome job. Awesome job. Yeah, we give a sample deal package out at our live events so that when you approach an investor, you say, hey, listen, if, 
you know, here's an example of the kind of deal we're looking for. If we find one like this, are you interested? And so it makes it much easier to start a relationship with a potential investor for your deals. All right, let's see here. Uh, Josh Davis, buy Rod's book. Thank you, brother. Uh, education is key, Sterling. That's absolutely right. Aaron, welcome. Larry, welcome. Um, Aaron, what are some factors that are easily missed when underwriting a deal? Ooh, that's a big question. That's such a big question. I'll tell you guys, if you're underwriting a deal, go on my website. I used to give my book away for free. I've given away 20,000 copies. I finally, my team's like, hey, stupid, we can make some money with this. Put it on Amazon. So I finally agreed. I gave away 20,000 copies for free. It's on Amazon now on Kindle. The live, the live version, I'm sorry, the, the physical version will be available probably in about 60 days. It's so, we've taken so long to get it out there. But I, I digress. On my website right now is an incredible workbook that's, that's like a due diligence checklist. It's the most concept, comprehensive thing on the planet. I know this. Go download it. It's free. It's like 50, 60 pages of every question you should possibly ask. Then nothing gets missed, Aaron, okay? Use that workbook and you won't miss a darn thing. Okay, very important. Uh, David, any plans on visiting Chicago? No, not not for over a year, unfortunately. I had a big event there, I think last year, um, five, 600 people. Uh, but the next event's LA. After that, it'll be the middle of the country somewhere. Okay, Andrew, what's up, brother? Another warrior. Um, okay, Sterling grab Rod's book. Thank you. You got my book at the at a RIA meeting. Thank you. Um, Okay, Madday, where can I find educational materials for building multifamily in Florida? You know, I don't know, honestly. I mean, that's such that is absolutely a play right now to build to rent. Um, but I don't know where you could, where you can learn how to actually do the construction. I mean, I would suggest you align with a builder, maybe joint venture with a builder, somebody that's that's that that, that has done some multifamily. Um, and then, you know, there's some real great strategy where you involve the owner of the land, especially if it's free and clear, and say, hey, throw the land in, let's develop this, you get a piece of the deal, everybody gets a piece of the deal, everybody's happy, especially if it's land that's just been sitting there. I think there's a real opportunity to build to rent right now. It's just not something, uh, you know, that I have done yet. So, um, Dustin, one more question. How do you balance a fair investor personal life balance with a wife and three kids? Brother, you need to listen to my planning um, live that I did on planning, on weekly planning. That's something I spend a lot of time with with my students to make sure, because my biggest regret in life, truly to this day, was I used to live across the bay here in, a, in an $8 million, 10,000 square foot house. You can't see it because it's to the right here a little bit, but I can see it when I walk out there. And I used to come home to that mansion, that, that testament to my ego I built to prove to the world I was good enough. And I'd play with my kids every night, but I wasn't there with them mentally. I was, I was distracted. So make sure you go and search the word planning on my official Facebook page. And I do a session on this 15 minutes, a weekly planning process, which I use to manage multiple companies at the same time. It's very powerful, but more importantly, so that when you're with those people that matter, you are totally present. You are physic you're, you're there. Okay. And I will tell you, Dustin, your wife and your kids would rather have you totally present for 15 minutes with your phone in the drawer than an hour of distraction. You ask them, and I promise you that's what they'll tell you. And that planning process helps you line all that out. If you can't find it, DM me, and I'll, I'll find the link for you. Okay, Rafael, what's up, my friend? See you in L.A., brother. Eddie Rodriguez, thank you. Andrew, best thoughts on ways to make broker contacts and get deal flow from them for 100-plus apartment communities? The best way in this hot market is to align with somebody that's already done it so they take you seriously. Find someone <clears throat> that's already done some deals, that's got a few hundred or a thousand plus doors and align with them. Try to, try to befriend them so that you can use them when you're calling a broker and say, and use the we word, we own X number of doors. Get on someone else's team. Tell them you'll, you'll, you know, you'd like to participate if you find a deal. Even if you only get a small percent of that first deal, it gets you on the map, okay? And that's how everybody starts. They find a sponsor to do that first deal. Um, so, all right, let's see. Uh, Renee, yeah, Josh, girl power. Oh, yeah, yeah, at the Baltimore event, we had a female panel. Uh, there was about 9,000 doors between the three women that were on stage. Uh, yeah, talk about a rock star panel. I hope to do that again in L.A., uh, a female panel. Bri Brianna, when purchasing an investment property, do you think it's best to go directly to the listing agent who has the deal or get a buy? Definitely do not get a buyer's agent. No. Work with the listing agent because... Those are the relationships you want to build. And just remember this, Brianna, when you find a deal like that, it's never just about that one deal. 
The big money is made by developing close relationships with these brokers that get these listings because they can make you freaking wealthy. So never make it about one deal. Make it about building a broker relationship. Always go to the listing broker. Never, I would never work with a buyer's, buyer's agent on, on multifamily. Hey, Anna. Welcome. How's my back? Much better. Thank you. In fact, I probably should go to the chiropractor today just as a because we're going on a little vacation uh, in a couple days. Perry, welcome. See you in L.A. Andrew, oh, thank you, brother. Uh, Rod Cleef's the real deal with all the bullshitters out there. Thank you, my friend. Um, will I still be sending out the partnership question checklist with yes to the Warriors? Yes, I am. It's already been sent to Camille. Um, I'll kick her in the butt. We had a big meeting this morning. She hasn't had a chance to send it out. We had a coaching call last night. That's what he's talking about. Thanks, Alan. Chris, what's up, my friend? Haven't seen your name in a while. Digging back in. Love it, brother. Uh, you know, let us know if you want us to look at that deal. I haven't got, oh, let's see here. I haven't got any more questions on Instagram. You guys are slacking, man. Give me some questions. All right. Uh, thanks, Philip, for, for your kind words about my book. Thank you so much. Uh, see you later, Josh. Can't wait, Jesse, to see you in LE either, my friend. Kapil, I was at your Baltimore boot camp and want to let those thinking about going to your boot camp in LA to stop thinking and take action by buying a ticket. Thank you. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you for those kind words. Uh, let's see. Wassam, at what phase in the learning taking action process do you recommend working with a multifamily mentor? Uh, when would now be a good time, my friend? <laughs> Get that? When would now be a, for a good time? Immediately, buddy. I mean, get, get even if it's just a local mentor in your marketplace, find some find someone there that can help you. Um, and 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 but 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 again, you want to offer value to them. It's not just about what you can take. You are giving as well. So anything you can do to make their life easier, better. You, at the very least, you pay for dinner or lunch. But get them involved right away. That's why how you avoid mistakes. And I didn't get this memo. To, for quite a while, which is why I have now a t-shirt that they sell at my events because it's just funny, which says, ask me how I know, which is one of my catchphrases. It has the pound sign like this. By the way, this is pound, own your freaking power, O-Y-P, own your power, which is the clips that I do on my podcast that I really love doing. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you're from Ontario, Canada, in the market to purchase my first multifamily. Just turned 21. Awesome, brother, that you're already thinking about that. My parents keep saying I should purchase a condo. Oh, hell no. Don't purchase a condo because you've got each HOA fees. Purchase multifamily, man. Don't, 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 don't. Listen, love your parents, but, but, again, we, we love our parents and our family, but we choose who we allow to influence us. So, you know, if you want to go big, don't, don't, don't do condos. That's my, my advice to you. Um, so start with a multifamily. Go, go house hack a, a fourplex. Go live in a fourplex, live in one of the units and rent the rest of them out. You'll probably live for free. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Howdy. Dank Corbett. I still forgot your name, brother. I know you told me and I forgot. It's recommended when acquiring properties, you should put them in different LLCs. Yes. Do you use the same name for the LLCs? Hell no. Okay. Always a different name. You separate them, my friend. Uh, and just like any business, you have separate checking accounts. Everything is separated. That's how you avoid, you know, the rotten apple theory. If someone happens, let's, God forbid, something happens to a family in one of your properties and you're deemed culpable for, the, for, for they all die or, God, again, God forbid, knock on wood, even suggesting this, but it gets past your insurance. If you've got multiple properties in that LLC or they can c cross collateralize them, you lose everything. So uh, always individual. Okay, Nick, how do I feel about a market in St. Pete for 20? How do I feel about the market in St. Pete? Love St. Pete. Man, I almost moved to St. Pete. I love it. Of course, it's hot and it's expensive, but downtown St. Pete is awesome. Uh, I, I think it's fantastic. Okay, uh, let's see. Thank you, Victoria. Deepak, welcome. Jew Whitaker, how did you meet my wife? <laughs> how did I meet my wife? She will kill me if I say this publicly. Oh, she's going to kill me. I actually met her online. Please don't tell her I said that, okay? But uh, yeah, we match, man. And and I, I mean, I love online dating, and and she's the love of my freaking life. And she's, I mean, what a gift from God I have. And 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 you know, but but I focus on the relationship. I focus on making it better. You can't see it. There's a three hundred dollar bouquet of flowers behind the window here inside the living room that I got her while I was out of town. I work to make her happy. I, I if you called her and asked her what Rod's purpose in life is, it's to make her happy. I know what her love language is. She knows what my love language is. So anyway, relationships. We digress for a minute. Hold on here. Why can't I scroll up? Here we go. Or Emily, I'm stuck between finishing college or going full force into multifamily. Ooh. You know 
That is, that is a dangerous question for me to answer. If you want my personal opinion, do something you love and get started doing it now. You know, uh, if, if, if you need college for, your, for whatever it is you plan to do, you really need it, fine. You think about that. But me, I didn't, you know, I, I asked the question at my live events. Did college teach you to live the life of your dreams with financial success and and, and crush it in life. Hell no, it doesn't, okay? And the only thing that's gonna do that is, is a vehicle like real estate or entrepreneurship or something like that. So, you know, is, is it a great place to learn how to study? Yes, um, I regret pieces of not going to college. I regret, you know, I didn't know how to do accounting and understand a, a P&L and all that stuff or how to do a business plan, but you can learn that outside of college too. So I know that that wasn't a concrete answer, Emily, but you know, you're gonna have to evaluate, you know, soup to nuts, every piece of it. Uh, thank you, Mario, for your kind words. Gary, welcome, brother. Sergio, what's up, brother? Uh, you enjoyed the Baltimore event? Thank you, my friend. Um, what are your thoughts on key investor to access larger deals? What's the industry standard percentage? Buddy, it's deal specific, my friend. And, and, and again, uh, what he's talking about there is a KP, you know, like a sponsor to get involved in a deal, bring a deal maybe to somebody that's got a bunch of doors. And, and what percentage do you get? Now, we've got a spreadsheet we get our students that, you know, some, some suggested splits. But, you know, it's all over the board based on, on who's doing what and, um, and, and the, the, you know, the, the how, how exciting the deal is and, you know, a whole bunch of factors, brother. Um, okay, let's see here. Deepak, I'm good. I'm good. Um, okay, you attended my event in Baltimore. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. I found some apartments for sale here around Dayton. Also, awesome. We've got, you know, we've got a, a, a property in Dayton in Beaver Creek. That's the one that got destroyed by the tornado. Some of my friends are interested in investing too, but I'm not sure how to proceed ahead. What would you suggest? Well, buddy, revisit what I taught you at, <laughs> respectfully, revisit what I taught you at that event. Maybe you were out in the hall networking, but I, I you know, I, I talked to you about that. Put a sample deal package together, you know, start those relationships, build those relationships. And, 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 uh, and that's fantastic that you've got, already got people interested, my friend. Now you just need to take action. Um, let's see. Uh, hold on. Hello. Okay. Um, all right. Here we go. Um, hello. Can I wholesale a multifamily apartment building over 100 units? I will say this. I've got two students that have made over $100,000. One made 100000 exactly. Another one made 108000 wholesaling multifamily. So the answer is hell yes. My brother made one hundred grand wholesaling a multifamily. You can absolutely wholesale multifamily. So, uh, you know, so many people don't do that. Um, thanks, Adam. Uh, for your kind words, buddy. Um, what numbers are you seeing on properties in the current market? What kind of IRR, cash on cash, prefs, et cetera, are you seeing using uh, for your syndications? Well, listen, every deal, again, and I'm sorry to be kind of, um, I'm not shirking the answer, but I will tell you, we will we look for a 10% cash on cash annualized for five years. That is that is probably our biggest metric. We want to see that we can hit 10% cash return on our cash. So you guys that don't know what that means, if you put $100,000 in to a deal, out of pocket, not the loan or anything like that, out of pocket, 100,000 out of pocket, I wanna see 10,000 back from that 100,000 every year over a five year period. Now the first couple of years it may only be four or 5,000, then the second, and the third and fourth year might be 14, 15,000, but I wanna average out to a 10% return. That's our number one. Now as far as prefs, it's deal specific. You know, some guys offer 6%, 7%, 8%. We're, we're about to throw a deal out there in uh, South Carolina, and I think we're going to be at a 7 pref, but I'm not positive on that. Um, and it, again, it's deal specific, my friend. Uh, Jew, you're welcome, brother. You're welcome. Emily, you're welcome. Uh, Tom, love the Tampa event. Working on your first purchase. There we go, brother. Although there's a guy who says no less than six. <laughs> There's a guy who says no less than 16 units on your first deal. Yes, we know who that is. He and I got into it, but I love him because he's funny as hell. But but listen, if you can do a duplex, triplex, fourplex, don't don't start. Just start. That's the number one thing. And and uh, um, you know so so uh, that's the thing. Just 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 buy something. Get get that process started because there's that law of the first deal. You get that first deal. It's the hardest one takes the longest, it's the most stressful, but once you've got it, you're like, good Lord, is that all there was? And then they're like freaking dominoes, man, boom, 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 boom. So just get started, my brother. Okay, well, I'm, I'm kicking ass. I haven't got any more questions. Is that, is that all you guys got? I still got some energy left. Well, it's 1230, I got a half hour. Um, 
Okay, Richard. Uh, okay, any any more questions, guys? If you've got any more questions, I'll answer them. If not. Let's see, working towards my second deal, Margaret, awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me see if I missed any on uh, on uh, Mayank. I don't know what you mean by help you, my friend. Um, start listening to my podcast. Um, any other questions, guys, uh, that I can answer? Nope. All right, listen, love you guys. If I can help in any way, reach out. I will, if, there's, if you're watching this after I went live and you've got... Um, Jeremiah just bought a single family living in a good area looking for FHA multifamily. Awesome. You got to move in it, but that's awesome. Um, so so if you uh, guys have any questions after I went live, just put them out here and uh, I will answer them. I'll, I'll continue to answer into the evening as much as I can um, after I'm done here. So, all right, my friends, go make it happen. Have an awesome week. Take massive freaking action. Push through fear and go grab the life of your dreams. Take care, guys. See ya.